15 News at 10. Not everyone's ready for a referendum. Now at 10, one local school district faces decisions with everyone listening in. All around our state, cash-strapped school districts are asking their property owners for more money. A meeting was held tonight in Greene County to discuss an upcoming vote that has huge implications for a local high school. NBC 15's Chris Pabst was there. Wisconsin has 426 school districts. Last fall, 50 of them held referenda to raise taxes. This spring, another 47 will including Broadhead. And the school could save a lot of money, stop wasting all the money on some of the stuff that they buy around here. I don't think this is an issue so much of Broadhead mishandling their funds as I think it is a big state issue. Good job. Thank you. Keep up the good work. The opinions are many, but the choices are few. Yes or no. Broadhead School District needs money. A combination of state-imposed revenue caps and a decline in student enrollment has greatly strained their budget. The only way they can raise money is to increase taxes. And the only way they can do that is by referendum. A referendum to raise property taxes in Broadhead was already held back in February. It failed. Now these people are here to listen, learn, and share their own thoughts on another referendum coming up in just a few weeks. We do have a referendum scheduled for April 6th. If the referendum fails, a school will have to cut more than $1 million out of their budget. Eight teachers, two administrators, a guidance counselor, and many programs will be gone. This is the first time that Broadhead has gone to a referendum to exceed the revenue caps, which our neighbors have gone many times. So as far as financially, we've done a good job. The deficits are getting larger year by year. You give all these big raises to the superintendent and the principals and that, and then you turn around and ask the taxpayers for more money. Uh, I really don't agree on that. And I feel real strongly about making sure this referendum gets passed so that our kids aren't hurt um, while we're waiting for bigger, bigger issues to get changed at the state and national level for funding. In Broadhead, Chris Pabst, NBC 15 News. The first vote failed by 55 to 45 percent. In order for this new one to pass, about 300 people have to change their votes, and that will take place.